Hi, I wanted to do a little bit more of a walkthrough tutorial about the part one that Myers Calvert plays. It's relatively simple, but you have to make some choices as you're going through in order to really understand as many of the martial aspects of it as possible. So the first one obviously is fairly simple. We have simply at this point here, there's an open gate for me. If there's not an open gate, I can't get through it. So here, I'm simply coming through and I'm going to split. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm going to just take a step back, a bit further, a bit further, even further, 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 further. I'm going to go splat as hard as I can through his face. Now, obviously, I don't want him standing there when this is happening. So, or in this case, I do. So from this point, as I come to split his face, Joseph is performing a simultaneous parry. Now, he doesn't want to go too far back on this. Ideally, when he does this, he wants to hit me at the same time, very much like a forward play. So from here, as I come through, very easily and into the side of the face. For training purposes here, we're keeping it a little bit short so that we can move on to the next point. So, having parried the first shot with a simultaneous cut through the face, if that cut has not succeeded, Joseph is going to thrust me in the face, which I'm going to parry, but as I parry like so, here, I'm going to try and bring my point back online to thrust at him again. And this is where we look at the next move. So first of all, we have here, we have the simultaneous cut, we have a thrust and a parry, and I try to set myself up with a line to thrust back into the top. So here. Now, as I do so, if we just turn this around for a moment, Joseph is going to stop check my arm to stop the thrust from going forwards into his torso. So here, can you go back slightly for me? Here, as I step in, one, we have the thrust, two. I set up and then he checks my arm here, so I can't actually bring my thrust forwards any further. And this is where the third part comes in. From this point, I release, throw back, and thrust into the face. And then the last part is a simple parry, this part. So if we go through once more, and we're going to just bring the angle into you a little bit more here. We come across this way. And don't worry about not being able to see certain aspects of this. It's really just so you can see the arm action a little bit more closely in the pin. So from this point, one, there's the parry over the head, the thrust, the attempt to thrust into the side, being pinned, releasing ourselves from the pin, and in. Okay? Now if our distance is nice and close, I won't have to step with my left foot. But I don't feel this is an issue because it still keeps the same foot forwards in the manual, so I don't particularly mind. So one final time, all the way through, we have the strike to the head and the parry simultaneous, the thrust, the attempted thrust to the side, which is pinned, or release, and the thrust to the face, and then step backwards with the left foot and the check and parry to put him on board at the end. Okay? I have some great pretender. There he is, Bowman. There he is. Oh. Mm. I'm going to do some trolling. Yeah. I think you'll find Bowman of the 14th century would have paraded with the point down. Down, it's down, you see. 